This week, I'm going to show you how to create invisible hotspots on images. I'm going to use Google Drawings to do this, and the best way to access Google Drawings is from your drive, click New, and you'll see if you go to the More part of the menu, you will see Google Drawings there. And to get an image into Google Drawing, you can just copy and paste it from the internet, or you can just insert an image right from a Google search within the Google Drawing. What creating hotspots will allow you to do is to add additional notes, uh, photos, audio or video, or pretty much any multimedia content to your image so that it can be interactive for students. You can use the hotspots on images to make stories, maps, study guides, graphics, and pretty much anything else you put in here interactive. And students can also create interactive content that can then be shared on the web. So there are two different ways to make part of this diagram interactive. The first way would just be to insert a shape. So I'd like this part, I, what I'd like is I would like students, when they click on this part of the heart, I'd like them to be directed to more information. But you'll see that I can't keep this here. This doesn't, this doesn't look nice. So I'm going to make two changes to this shape. I'm going to click on it to bring up these options. And I'm going to make the fill color transparent. And I'm also going to make the line color transparent. So that when I click off the image, it doesn't look like I made any change to it, but I do have this spot invisible. To add my hyperlink, I'm going to find a site or some sort of content. It might be a Google slide that I presented in class. Um, but for this portion, I'm going to just use a web resource that includes an interactive element. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back to my shape. I'm going to click on it and click the link. I'm going to apply it. And now you'll see that when the student clicks on this, they'll get this option. But there is actually one more step to make this image more effective. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but I do want to show you the other way to insert a hotspot because what you'll notice is here I have this nice little shape that fits really well, but here there's probably not a shape that's going to be the same exact dimensions as the left ventricle. Likewise, if I was going to make an interactive map of the United States, different states have different sizes. So I actually need to create my hotspot. So what I'm going to do instead of insert the shape, I'm going to insert what is called a polyline. I'm going to draw my shape. And this might be a little tricky at first, but wherever you'd like to start your shape, click your mouse, and you'll notice this blue line right here. To make an endpoint, I'm going to click the mouse again. Now you can see the connection here. Click. And when I'm done, I close off the shape, and here it is. Now, if I click anywhere else, I'm going to keep drawing a line, and this can be the frustrating part. So just remember, once your shape is connected and shows up, you're going to click out of the polyline feature by clicking on the mouse here. So now we're back here. And I'm going to repeat the same process for this image. I'm going to make it transparent. And for this, I'm going to link it to a video that discusses the function of the left ventricle. So I'm going to copy that, click back on my shape, and go to link, and insert that link. Now the final step, once, once you've inserted all of your hotspots, and I, I'm not going to make you sit through and watch as I do each individual one, you're going to save this as a PDF, or should I say download this as a PDF. Here it is. I'm going to bring it back up. And now here's my image. What you'll notice is when I move my mouse over left ventricle, you can see that I'm able to click on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hey everyone, it's Matt from Ken. And it's going to bring me to my video. And by doing this, you're allowing students to interact with the content in your class. Be, this would be excellent, again, on maps or study guides. 
I hope this video is helpful and you can find a use for this in your classroom. Thanks for watching. See you next time.